put in work, never hurt. You go to school, go to work, go to church. Go to church. You my baby, it's a blessing what you worth. Girl, let's talk of all the pain. Everybody, hello, hi, what's up? I already said that, but whatever. <laughs> Today, well, first let me say that I am back better than ever with the YouTube grind. It's been a little minute. Oh, bless you, my cat sneezed. It's been a little minute. Um, some things have happened in my life. It's been a crazy ride. Uh, maybe I'll do a story time one day. But for now, let's just focus on the fact that I'm back and better than ever. Before we begin, let's put it in the air. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video. Follow me on my Instagram, the link, or not the link, the my name, whatever <laughs> handle will be in the description box. Um, so yeah, today's going to be a fun day's video, you know, and I'm excited to get started. So let's go. Guys, today is going to be an exciting video. It's a topic that I absolutely love, um, which is reading books, my favorite books that I've ever read. I'm going to try to keep this video short and sweet because you know your girl can talk with 20, 30 minute videos that I have up on my channel. So I'm going to keep this one short and sweet can't really see but to the side of me I have well let me show you I have my book stack um so we're just gonna get right on into it I'm just gonna pull it's not in any particular order I'm just gonna pull from the top um the way I grabbed them so this book right here give you a close-up it's called Origin it's by Jessica Corey or Corey I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce her name sorry Jessica if I got your last name wrong um, this book, I don't even know what to say. This book is so good, guys. It is about, her name is Pia, and she's always known her destiny, which is to start a new race, a line of descendants who will bring an end to death. She has actually been bred for immortality and raised by a team of scientists. Um, she's been, she, like, for her whole life, she was in an enclosure, you know, like, studying her and, like, doing different things to her to see how she reacts and she's immortal um until finally she gets free goes to the jungle meets a guy everyone loves a good romance story um and then they fall in love and then they begin to figure out what happens and then you know it's like a crazy little ride this book guys is amazing please go pick it up from your local library or buy it on amazon whatever you got to do because this book is rate them too yeah, yeah yeah sorry we're going with the flow today so I rate this book a flipping 11 million. This book, this book, you could see my excitement. This book, give it a little close up. Eleanor Park by Rainbow Rowell. First and foremost, my favorite author to ever walk on this planet. Second and foremost, my favorite book to ever, ever be published. I read this book so many times I don't even know how to act. It is about, there's really, there's not like really a description on the back at least um oh you can see it here i have like stains on this book and everything like i've had this book since forever anyways i'm getting off topic so this book is about two misfits just basically like don't fit in at school or anything like that two misfits that fall in love um and it's just about their journey i know i made it sound really boring <laughs> But this book is amazing. You guys have to read this book, please. It's very contemporary. Um, it's really just refreshing. And it is kind of like established as young adult. But hey, who doesn't love a good love story? Come on now. But this book is amazing. A million bajillion out of ten. Hey guys, you already know I had to include this book in a favorites video. A favorites book video. Milk and Honey by Rupi Kapoor Kaior. I don't. Sorry, Rupi. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. This book, as you can see, is also kind of beat up. Um, I love it. It's a poetry book, and I mean, everyone's heard of this book. But if the off chance you haven't, it's a journey of surviving through poetry, like blood, sweat, and tears. The twenty-one years. Yes, girl. Yes. It's just. It's basically a book about love, healing, heartbreak, pain working through all of that discovering yourself it's it's amazing and she did a phenomenal job on this poetry book i don't usually like poetry books but this one is a i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. i love it but like i said i'm not really that into poetry but it's still a great great book guys then we have this book 
The Paladin Prophecy by Mark Frost. Mark, Mark, you did your thing with this book. Oh my gosh, it, I think it's a series. I don't remember, I don't think I've gotten um, a chance to read the whole series. Oh yes, I did, I'm kidding. I totally finished the whole series. Disregard that. This is the first book in the series though. Um, it doesn't say what the series is called, but it says like book one, book two, whatever, whatever. So you can look it up. This book, we'll start off with the rating on this one. I'll give it a nine out of 10 um, because it is, I mean, right now for me, it is a little like too young adultish, if you will, but I'm still, I still love young adult. Don't get me wrong, but like, I feel like I'm just outgrowing this book, if that makes sense. Anyways, um, it's really great though. So basically the plot of the story is in the, the series, there's this guy named Will, Will West. He's, his parents have always encouraged him to live under the radar, which usually parents would be like, you know, go above and beyond, but they made, they made sure that his life is very normal, that he never got noticed for anything. And one day he made a mistake. He took a statewide test, kind of like the ACT that um, we have to take now, and he passed it with flying colors, flying colors, but that put him on the radar, and basically people start coming after him, his parents disappear, and he's forced to go to a school that he's never heard of before, and everyone at that school has different powers. So this book is amazing i absolutely love it like i said it's a little young adultish so i give it a 9 out of 10 but it's still a great book this next book we have is summer and the city by who is this by who is this by bushnell it says bushnell i don't i forgot who the author is bushnell anyways by bushnell bushnell you're great <laughs> this is actually the second book in the series of the like the Carrie Diary series or Sex in the City like the um what's it called the movie and the show this book is very light I like like if you can tell I like light and contemporary my cat is playing with her toy sorry hey anyways um it's very light it's contemporary very refreshing it's takes place in the summertime obviously because it's called summer in the city but it's basically about Carrie learning to navigate her way around New York after moving here. Um, why is it here like I live in New York? After moving there. And um, she just imagines, she just realizes that it's way more complicated than she thought. It's a really great book. I love it. I'll give it like an eight out of 10. Hey guys, this book, the next book I have for you is Something Borrowed. No, no, redo. Something Blue, sorry. Something Blue by Emily Griffin, and it's the sequel to Something Borrowed, which actually got adapted to a movie. You've probably seen it with Kate Hudson and Zoe Deschanel. Um, that is one of my favorite movies. So when I saw that they had the books, I didn't know it was adapted from books. So when I saw that they had the books, I definitely had to read it. Um, I don't know if there's a ne another book after this. I always forgot to look into it. But this book is really great. It, it's about their life after like the movie and after that whole thing scandal takes place. I don't want to give it away because I maybe you haven't seen it. But it, it basically goes through their lives after the whole thing happened. Um, it's a great book and I love that I got to find out what happened to them afterwards. Oh, rating is... I want to say 7 out of 10. Second to last book I have for you is The Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. And Cassandra Clare probably sounds very familiar to you because she wrote the Mortal Instruments series and you know, the Shadow Hunters, all that stuff. Um, I absolutely love the Mortal Instruments series. I love the movie Shadow Hunters. It's also one of my favorite movies. Um, but yeah, The Clockwork Prince, it ties into the Shadow Hunters slash Mortal Instruments series, which I really loved because I love that series. And um, this is actually the second book in the Infernal Devices series. So the first book in the Infernal Devices series is Clockwork Angel, which I thought I had, but I either lost it or gave it away because I don't have it anymore. But I know I have a lot of like the second books in the series, and that's because I usually discover the first book and like in my, during the live during the library. While I was at the library, then I check it out, love it, and then I want to continue the series, and then I just end up getting the second book. So that's why I have a lot of the second books. Anyways, um, this story takes place in the magical underworld of Victorian London. 
I am a sucker for historical backgrounds when books take place and movies take place like in historical part of history, obviously. <laughs> and um, and I'm absolutely a real sucker for when they kind of do a twist, like there's magic like this. So basically, it takes place in the magical other world of Victorian London and Tessa Gray has found safety with the Shadow Hunters. Um, it's basically about Tessa and, well, it's really not just about Tessa. It's about Tessa and Will and their journeys, you know, like, it's just, I don't even know how to explain this book. It's, but I needed to include it because it's so good. I'm going to read a snippet of like the, um, the description so I don't butcher this. In the magical underworld of Victorian London, Tessa Gray has at last found safety with the Shadow Hunters. But that safety proves fleeting when rogue forces in the clave plot to see her protector, Charlotte, replace as head of the Institute. If Charlotte loses her position, Tessa will be out on the street, an easy prey for the mysterious magister who wants to use Tessa's power for his own dark ends. There's a lot more that goes into it. Um, there's Jem and there's Will and I freaking love all of them, but I don't want to drone on and on. So if it sounds interesting, definitely go check this out. And yes. sorry, and my rating for it is an eight out of 10. Last book I have for you is Tracers and Tracers is by J.J. Howard. I love J.J. Howard. Um, I love this book. <laughs> This book is actually also a movie adaptation and it has Taylor Lautner in it, so you know I love that movie too. Um, but the movie is really great. I actually watched the movie first, loved it, so I'd say it's one of my favorite movies. I have a lot of favorite movies because I love movies. Um, I'll do a video on my favorite movies another day. But basically, so Cam has come to accept the rhythm of his life as a bike messenger, messenger um, in New York City. As you can tell, I also love books that take place in New York City. Um, his whole world comes crashing down on him when he runs into a beautiful stranger who literally falls out of the sky. And they explain how and why later on in the book. Um, and then she runs into, like, she hits Cam on his bike and then she disappears. And then he starts to see her around, around town and then gets involved with her. And um, he realizes that they, you know, she's part of, like, a gang. It's not a gang, but, like, a group that does parkour. Um, after reading this book, I wanted to try parkour. I epically failed, but it was fun while it lasted. Um, so he falls in with a group and they offer him a chance to make some extra money. And it kind of goes downhill from there. Uh, I don't want to give it away because I want you to read the book because it's amazing. But yeah, it's a great book. I would give this one a 7 out of 10. Um, just because... I don't, I can't explain it without giving away the book, but seven out of 10, and you might agree with me once you finish All the it. books I have for you, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell me what your favorite books are. Don't forget to follow me on my socials, which I'll have linked down below. Um, I love these types of videos. I'm an avid reader. I love reading. I didn't have time for, you know, college and then graduating, getting a job, um, but now I have a time for it. So I'm definitely gonna get back into reading. But these right here are some of my all-time favorite books. I definitely have a lot more, but I don't have a whole bunch of room for the library. So I couldn't acquire as many as I wanted to, but I have my little bookshelf that I have all my books on. Um, but yeah, anyways, getting off topic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, like I said, don't forget to tell me what your favorite books are. And if you wanna add anything to the list, or if you've read some of these books, tell me your thoughts. Um, but yeah. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah.